All right, Black Friday. We got our sprocket that we straightened out yesterday. I'm fitting the bearings and everything on the shaft. Everything seems to be fitting correctly. All right, now we're inside. We're gonna put the, the drive shaft on there and get that bolted in. Then we'll deal with putting that sucker on there. You can tell how heavy that is. Just driving over here with the forklift, it destroyed the pallet. So I think that thing is, hopefully it's not gonna be too difficult. I have a feeling we're gonna fight that one, but you never know. This should go pretty simple, slinging up there, eight brand new bolts, bolted down. That shouldn't be an issue. So, yeah, we'll get to it. All right, a little bit of more progress. We got all brand new bolts here. And then right there. Drilled a hole, well cut, plasma cut a hole, welded a, a bulkhead fitting on there. And then we're gonna attach grease line to the bottom of that. So as these, um, wear pucks or whatever you want to call them on the, on the bottom of these belts go up this we're gonna have grease right there so that it actually hopefully gets greased this time so that's progress on the outside then progress on the inside we have gearbox installed full of uh, gear oil We've got brand new bolts on the bearings brand new bearings Sprockets are lined up to the rails. I think we're pretty much ready to put the belt on. That should happen first thing in the morning, hopefully. Got all that on there. Electrical's hooked up and it, we uh, fired, fired it up. They put, they, the other company completely drained. It's like 800 or a thousand gallon tank, completely drained it. And they were inside there scraping all the sludge out the bottom. They completely cleaned all that out, put brand new fluid in it, and it was fired up for the first time today. And we checked, everything rotates and works 
correct here with no uh, you know unwanted noises so that's the progress so far and ben's got these plates all figured out change the design a little bit make it a little bit easier to to uh, pull one off if we needed to inspect something you basically drill a hole cut a hole weld a three quarter inch nut on the bottom of each one so you could just put a lifting eye right in the middle strap forklift pick it right up it, that's if you wanted to inspect just one particular area how they had it before is you had to slide all of the plates down starting on that end slide them down one at a time to unlock this one which is really dumb especially if you you can see all the rust on here how thick it is that just those just get locked up real quick so that's where we're at on that and then hopefully uh the next clip will be in the morning put the belt on how we got the first sections of the new belt going on here going relatively smoothly and then we get to try to fish that up up through all that all right so we came up with the idea to put the top of the crane kind of on the same plane as the vertical up on the ramp i took off my snatch block on the crane less likely to get caught and I doubled the length of cable that I can now use to pull that uh, up those tracks and we got a strap rigged on the on the new belt so we should be able to just put a shack hole in that and pull it straight up it hopefully it's that easy the truck driver how bad is that job no company name on it all I saw was a name and it said YouTube like, huh, I look at it, the guy does YouTube on like all types of fucking trucks, even though he's a driver. Yeah, that was the place to put on these Yeah, we have to push that down. Price, yeah, we see price down on it. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. Yep.
Out there? Hey, go check out my truck. <laughs> so when you need a little bit more angle, coming off that to the snatch block, to the outrigger, up into the crane. All right, we got the chain as far as we can with the truck. Now we've chained it up with the forklift, pulled it a little bit more. It's wrapped around the sprockets now. Now we can use a come along or chain on the bottom and possibly turn the motor on and help feed the chain back underneath itself. Well, that's the plan. We'll see how that works. Threading more links of the belt together. Just right there where it goes. Yeah, I got the first slant, but all the way at the top. All the way at the top? Yeah, no way that was a snake. Uh -oh. Well, I mean, the top between the slant and the other slant. So, like, right? Yeah. So the first slant, and then there's a cross member, and then I'm pretty much in the corner of the cross member. Okay. Well, the belt's all on there. First revolution coming up. Turn up the RPMs here. Very first test run. Everything seems to be lining up correctly. Heck yeah. All right, well, last night we got the conveyor on, all buttoned up, ran it, everything looks good, everything was tracking correctly, there was no unnecessary noises and whatnot. Ben is over here getting these side plates on, putting a couple little tacks on them, because they're kind of warped a little bit. Once we get these plates on up to here, we're gonna put those two big walls back on and then uh, we're going to have to get some material to redo these, where these anchors were. So they got ripped out of the ground. We'll do a bigger, bigger footprint on that. And then we'll have to put the hopper back on inside. A couple other little things. I'm going to measure out for a new plate right here. Get that ordered. 
making uh, really good progress here. Hopefully they'll be, they can make some bales by the end of the day. All right, got the hopper all bolted down. Now it should be done on the inside. Go outside and mess with those plates on the very end. All right, we got the wall up, stitch welded into place. Ben's got these half inch plates here. He's gonna tack those down. I'm drilling some uh, concrete anchor holes and we're gonna keep on rolling. Well, we got this plate on there. Forklift's holding it down so that it closes the gap. We're gonna stitch weld it. And then we'll be done. So, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. They're gonna bail like that. They're gonna bail without that wall. They're gonna stack up some stuff. That way they can uh, get caught up on all their stuff. Well, that'll be it for this video end of part three and the end of the series i might do a couple videos here and there about little things we do to this but that's it for the bayer rebuild thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one